uh, the lobby as you walk in, um, that one can also find in Cooperstown. And it's the name of Reuben Berman. And how Reuben Berman's name ended up here uh, on our yard site plaques and in Cooperstown, I'm going to uh, ask uh, his grandson and our former president, Doug Segan, to share. Thank you, Rabbi. I don't know what you were doing May 16th, 1921, 103 years ago, but um, there was a New York Giants baseball game, and uh, my maternal grandfather, Reuben Berman, was attending the game. I don't know if you saw the pictures of those days, everybody's wearing a tie in the, in the stadium, all the guys. Um, and, a, uh, and this affects your life today, by the way, the, the, the punchline. A foul ball was hit into the stands, and Reuben, Grandpa Ruby, caught it. And unlike the custom at the time, he did not throw it back on the field. And the management ejected him from the game. And, and he, my grandpa Ruber was not one to, to uh, take that lightly, so he sued for mental distress. And um, he prevailed in a civil suit. And because of his victory, the baseball New York Giants changed their rule to allow fans to keep foul balls. And um, uh, this is... Uh, this is known as Ruben's Rule, and, and hardcore baseball trivia fans know this rule, and uh, it's, it's uh, documented at the, uh, in Cooperstown, and um, that's my grandpa Ruby's story. So if you catch a foul ball, you can thank uh, my grandpa. All right, thank you so much.